I still say you should have let me get us a taxi. I'm fine. I told you, you didn't need to come and pick me up, neither. Yeah, well, I gave in on the taxi, so you can give in on me, bringing you home. Oh, Ben, leave it, please. You already said that. I already told you I am. You told me, yeah. And that's what I wanted to hear, too. Is that why you said it? It ain't natural you being so cool and calm about all this. I'm cool and calm about all this because he's history. Why should I get worked up about someone who don't count anymore? <clears throat> that little favor you asked, I've been making some inquiries. <laughs> Thanks for holding the fault. Oh, Ben. Oh, well, just cut some bruises, thank goodness. How's everything? He said what happened to you. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Well, you will be if you don't get out of here. Not very friendly? Not very friendly, assaulting my son. I'd be careful if I were you. That's slander. No. That's the God's honest truth. And when's this assault supposed to have taken place? You know exactly when. And where. Look, here I am walking around a free man. I don't know the police have a bit of a manpower issue at the moment, but you'd think they'd have caught up with me by now. You and your accusations, Cathy. I've got the right to refuse to serve anyone I like in this cafe. And I ain't serving you. Your family last night? You today. What's that supposed to mean? You will serve me because you don't have any choice. Oh, yeah? How'd you work that out? Because I pay the piper. In this case, you. Well, we own the place now. Didn't your son tell you? Remember what he said. And, uh, what about my little problem? All in hand, Philip. All in hand. This is the fifth message I've left you. Call me back, will you? Oh, hello. What's happened to your face? Accident at work. What sort of accident? What's that, Mal? OK, what is with everyone today? Why is everyone biting my head off? Ask your old man. Really? 